This is Elvin P. Balais, a computer hardware instructor from Technological University of the Philippines, Manila. And you are watching a video on how to format or reformat a PC using the Windows XP operating system. Just in case you have any questions regarding this video, you can email me at elvinbalais at yahoo.com. Enjoy the show! Before you format your PC, you have to make sure that all of your files on it have already been backed up because all of these files will be lost after you format your PC. Then, you should insert your operating system CD or the Windows XP CD on your CD-ROM or optical disk drive. You have to make sure that your first boot device is your optical disk drive. If not, you have to enter the BIOS setup. In order for us to enter the BIOS setup, you have to press a specific key because it varies from brand to brand of the PC on what key to press to enter the BIOS setup. This will be seen on the post or the power on self-test screen as your PC restarts. For this computer, we have to press Dell or Delete to enter the BIOS setup. And this is the main BIOS setup menu and we have to go to, to the BIOS boot menu. We have, set, we have to set our optical disk drive or CD-ROM drive as our first boot device. Then we have to save the changes that we have made on the BIOS and the PC will restart. And we will see press any key to boot to CD. Then of course we have to press any key and the Windows XP setup will start. And this will be the first screen for the Windows XP professional setup. In this window, on this screen, we have three options. Uh, if you want to continue with a setup, press enter. If you want to use the recovery console for repair, you have to press R. If you want to quit the installation of Windows XP, you have to press F3. But to continue with a fresh copy, we have to press enter. And this will be the screen for the Windows XP licensing agreement. It is merely um, self-explanatory, so this would be the licensing agreement. If you want to continue, you have to agree. If you don't want to continue, of course, you have to press escape, which means you don't agree. So to continue, we have to press F8. So this would be the part wherein you can see the partitions that we have in this specific computer. So in this, we have two major partitions here, which is C and B, drive C and drive B. So since drive C would be the main partition of this computer, I would select the partition 1 where in, in this partition I will set up the Windows XP. So I will choose this one, the partition C, and I have to press enter. So just in case you want to create a new partition in unpartition space, you have to press C. If you want to delete a, a selected partition, you should press D. But in this, in this manner, I should choose the partition 1 or drive C and press enter so that I can continue with the setup process. So right now, this would be the uh, uh, formatting system that we have in this computer. So we have four options here, as you can see on the screen. The quick and the regular uh, format system, the NTFS file system, the NTFS file system regular, the FAT file system quick, and the FAT file system regular. The difference, since we are using a Windows XP here, um, it is advisable to use the NTFS file system. So since I'm very confident enough that we do, uh, I don't have any errors on my sectors on my hard drive, I should choose the NTFS file system quick in order for me to save more time. But just in case you have any error or problem regarding the sectors of your hard drive, you should choose the NTFS file system, the regular one. So in order for us to save time, since I don't have any errors on my sectors on the hard drive, I should select the quick format. Okay, so moving on. Set of copying files. We're starting the computer. 
post again, power on self test. So it's loading already. So this would be the screen, a new screen for the Windows XP setup. So the setup process is copying files. So there are some there are some information that that is flashing on the screen. Those information are the are the new features of Windows XP compared with the previous versions of Windows XP. Previous versions of Windows, I mean. So Windows is Windows setup is copying the files needed to run the setup. And this would be the regional and language options. So the default that we have here is English United States and we are using English so I don't have to change anything on the settings of this uh, regional language option so I have to press next. So time the f type your full name and the name of your company or organization. Okay, so that will be Elvin T. Lais. And my organization is TUP Manila. Okay, so click next. Then the product key. Actually, this product key always comes with the, with your Windows XP CD. So it is included. So for me, it is a 25 character license product key. So what I have here is 38 DXC. F two C four R P X M X V D B Q X M three C seven V six. So click next. So it has it had generated a computer name so just in case you want to put an administrator password uh, you can put but for me personally I don't want to put any password on it because I'm the only one who uses this computer but to continue a uh, date and settings so that will be March 3 of 2010 so the time zone will be of course since here in the Philippines we are GMT plus 8 GMT plus A. Okay, so type A. So click next. So the window setup continues. So installing a network. Again, so for me, it is default settings that you should choose the typical settings. But if you are confident enough to make custom settings on your network settings, that will be fine. But the default is typical settings, so we have to choose typical settings, then click next. So uh, this computer is not on the network, it is a standalone computer. So I have to choose the, the, op the first option, which is no, this computer is not on a network or it is on a network without a domain. Make this computer a member of the following work group. And the default work group is work group. So click, let's click next. So the Windows XP setup process would take around 30 to 45 minutes but it would depend on how fast your computer is. So if you have faster computer, the, the setup process also would be take shorter. So if you want to tr if you want to amuse yourself, keep yourself busy while while enjoying while while the setup process is is ongoing you can read all of the information that's flashing on the screen about the Windows XP version this is the new Windows version and that's it we're done we have already successfully installed
the Windows XP on the computer. So, thank you very much for listening. And that's the end of the show.